Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking apart this projection assembly for my 3 LCD TV. Now let's take this cover off. Okay, so in here, we have an image processor and some other chips. Now let's take off the next one. Now in here, we can see the ribbon cables going to the three LCD panels and their individual image processing modules here. Now let's take out this part. Now you can see how each chip corresponds to the, one of the plugs that goes to the ribbon cables to the three LCD panels. Now let's take off one of these. You can also see on the back where imprints have been made in there's thermal paste or a thermal pad to the bottom of the circuit board and also this heat sink. So let's remove one of these heat sinks. There's our thermal pad and here's the chip. I'm not too sure what these exactly do, but if I find the data sheet, I'll put some information on them in the description. Now let's look at the bulb. This is the main projector bulb. Here's the bulb here, and here's the high voltage connectors. Now there's a screw here, so let's try to take this aluminum cover off. Okay, now that we've removed this, we can see the bulb and the high voltage connector. There we see the anode and the cathode. Now this is a halogen bulb, 120 watt. This would have gotten very hot. Now there's on the back here, there's a vent where a fan would be attached. Now I took it off when I removed the module from the TV. Now it would have blowed air up through, through the bulb and out the top and it would cool the bulb. Okay, now let's see what's under these cover covers here. These remove pretty easily. And we can start to see some of the digital image processing. Um, now I'm surprised that these aren't like taped or screwed on because they weren't perfectly on. So there's spaces for dust to get into the image processing stuff. Now we could remove this here and see some of the more of the digital processing. Now there's three screws to take off this chassis. Oh, there's one more screw on the back. There was a filter here, but I removed it. It was very dusty.
There's the cover. And we can start seeing the three LCD panels and some of the, some of the prisms. But before we get into this, let's look at the bottom. Now on the bottom here, we have some wires for going into a fan. So there's a fan under here and there's a filter. So let's look at that. Here's our fan assembly. There's the housing and the filter. Here's our blower fan. Now you can see there's this duct here that separates the air to uh, cool the three LCD panels. Now this was surprising because I didn't think the LCD panels would need any sort of cooling. Now let's remove this duct here. Now we can see the, the duct here would separate the air into the three LCD panels. There's a divider here. Now there's a little bit of dust in here. Let's take off the fan now. just a regular blower fan and then there's this divider here to keep the air from blowing at the prism now here's that divider it would have worked like this to blow the air into the separate compartments There we go. You can see we have a lens here. Different filters. Now let's look at the the prisms and lenses. So the light would go through here from the bulb. There's a polarization filter here. Now the light would go here through these different filters and it would reflect blue so it would go to the blue light. Now, same thing for the red. It would filter out the red light. And it would go into the LCD. And then it would come over here, hit the lens, hit, the, go through another lens, and it would go through the LCD. Now this is a prism in here. Now it would put all that three Im images together and project it out of the main ones. Now there's some kind of filter here. Now this actually looks like a clean out duct. There's another more screws here. It looks like there's another cover that comes off. So let's take this bracket off. Now these screws are glued on with Loctite, which suggests that they're for fine tuning the image. This is really hard to pull out. Here we go. We have a nice magnifying lens, it looks like along with the two polarization filters. Now well, here's our specialized lenses. Another 
magnifying lens and other lens. There's the mirrors. Another lens. Ooh, that one broke. Whoops. Another mirror. Okay, now let's look at these LCD pieces. Oh, here, the whole assembly just came out. Okay, let's look at this. Now these are each, you can see, is marked. Here's this is blue. So this would just be the same image that you would be seeing on your TV screen, but just blue, green, and red. These are the three primary colors. And there, this prism here is putting them back together into one because they were taken apart by these lenses to be polarized and put through the displays. Now these are transparent. Now these are different from regular LCDs because these do not have a backlight. The lens here acts as the backlight when projecting it on the screen. Now let's take one of these off. Here's one of the LCDs. This lens is pretty cool actually. So it's a, you can kind of see it's a three way or four way. Now let's take these other ones off. Now you can see the three way part of the lens. These brackets here look like they're glued onto the prism. And it looks like they're soldered here. Oh, here's a date. 148 5109-1757. That must be a manufacturing number or something. It's interesting that this date is a different year than this date here. August 2nd. August 2nd, the 6th month of 2008. Other well, lens fell out. Now we can remove this which is exposing us to several screws here that looks like it'll take this projector lens off. This is awfully heavy here. This weighs a couple of pounds. Now there's another mirror. It looks like so once once the image is put it put together by the one prism we looked back earlier, it goes through here. And then there's a mirror. And then it bounces up and it's projected onto the screen. Now there's some more screws here, so let's take it apart more. So here's that mirror. And here's the main lens. Now this would be the miniature version of the same dimensions that the main screen would be. It's pretty strange looking through it. 
might be able to take it apart more, but I don't have the Torx to take this apart. Well, this just about wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.